Excuse me, do you know if there's a Popeye's chicken around here? Mega franchises like McDonald's are the top of the fast food food chain. However, enemies are lurking and waiting to pounce. Here are 10 chain restaurants that will be everywhere in 2023. Shake Shack. Matter of fact, it's the best burger I've had in years. When it comes to burger chains, the undisputed king for over half a century has undoubtedly been McDonald's. But things may be going in a different direction for the almighty Golden Arches this year. At least if Shake Shack has anything to say about it. The fast food chain that started life as a temporary food cart, serving up only hot dogs and shakes, has been expanding throughout New York City since 2001. What's up with all the ketchup? Thank you for asking, Rosa. It's for my hot dog. Along the way, the chain has also become known for its tasty burgers. Shake Shack's expansion continued in 2010, with the first location outside of New York popping up on the sun-soaked shores of Miami. While not found in every single U.S. state, Shake Shack does have locations from coast to coast, with locations in California all the way to New York and many places in between. This, of course, doesn't include the chain's international franchises, located in Japan, Mexico, Qatar, and the United Kingdom, among other other countries. This is only the beginning, as Shake Shack, together with the South Korean company SPC Group, plans to open 10 locations in Malaysia over the course of the next 10 years, with the first location set to debut later this year. With such rapid expansion from the chain, there's a good chance you'll be seeing a Shake Shack just about everywhere. Pokeworks. Hey! Is that healthy food? There are many breathtaking aspects about the tropical paradise that is Hawaii. The sun-soaked beaches with its warm crystal waters are a sight to be seen. However, if you wish to sample the food of Hawaii, you had to travel to the island to experience it. That is, until 2015, when Poke Works first opened its doors, giving everyone a chance to experience the tastes of the South Pacific without having to book an airplane ticket. Ah, very nice. Specializing in the Hawaiian dish poke. Poke Works has been serving up healthy, fast, casual goodness with a poke burrito leading the way, and patrons just can't seem to get enough. So much so, in fact, it was recently announced that Poke Works would be opening 10 locations across the U.S. in the next three years and expanding into the great white north of Canada over the course of about 10 years. With a rate of expansion like that, it's only a matter of time before everyone can experience a fresh and healthier fast food, all while imagining your yourself sitting on a sandy beach, sipping a drink served in a pineapple in the tropical sun. The Cheesecake Factory. Oh my god, that is the best cheesecake I've ever had! As with any business, you can experience both highs and lows. Changes in the market, inflation, and ever-changing client tastes can all be major factors in the success of your business, and fast food franchises are no exception. The Cheesecake Factory was one of the many restaurant franchises to experience a rather poor couple of years. Due in part to these factors, expansion came to a standstill. However, with a new year comes a new start, and this year promises to be a good year for the fast food chain with a never-ending menu. With industry experts estimating a growth rate of 7%, the Cheesecake Factory seems poised to start expanding the reach of its famous namesake dish once again. In fact, the fast food chain is planning to open an additional 25 locations across the country this year alone. The idea of having a Cheesecake Factory Factory almost everywhere you turn is a rather mouth-watering thought. The company was founded in Beverly Hills, California in 1978 and has since grown to operate over 250 locations in the United States and abroad. Welcome to Mexico. The Cheesecake Factory is known for its unique and eclectic decor, which often includes design elements inspired by local landmarks and cultural influences. So as the company continues to expand and open new locations in 2023 and beyond, it's likely to bring its unique dining experience to even more customers and continue to be a popular choice for diners around the world. New to Babble Top? Then how about hitting that subscribe button so you never miss a new video? Thank you. Next! Chick-fil-A. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. Fried chicken used to be the exclusive domain of KFC, at least on a national and global level. For many years, the Colonel's Secret Recipe Chicken was the only chain in town that had such reach. That is, before some serious competition came clucking around. Cuckoo ka 
Cuckoo Kacha! The standout of all the chicken chains to step out of KFC's shadow is undoubtedly the little Georgia chain that could, Chick fil A. Known just as much for its excellent customer service as it is for its crispy chicken sandwiches, Chick fil A has been expanding its fan base since the first official Chick fil A opened back in the late 1940s. With a lineage stretching back almost as far as KFC's and serving up one of the most popular chicken sandwiches on the market, Chick fil A has been steadily expanding with locations all across the United States. Um, except for three states, that is. Alaska, Hawaii, and Vermont are the only states without a Chick fil A franchise. New Jersey also became the home of the newest Chick fil A location just last year, much to the delight of chicken loving patrons of the Garden State. However, later this year, Chick fil A plans to open its latest location in Brooklyn, adding to their New York base. I guess they figure pizza has been raining far too long in the Big Apple. Chick fil A's expansion could make it so every person in North America has a Chick fil A sandwich in one hand and a smile on their face this year. Chipotle. Welcome to Chipotle. Thank you for your bravery. Mexican food. What more needs to be said about the mouthwatering cuisine brought to us by the good people south of the border? Well, for starters, Mexican food is not only beloved across all of North America, you can find lovers of burritos and tacos all over the planet. Franchises devoted to serving up Mexican food have been with us for quite some time. Hello, Taco Bell. And among the competition, Chipotle has been on a steady rise with no signs of slowing down. First making its debut in Denver back in 1990, 93 and offering up a fresh alternative menu to that of its chief competitor and original Mexican-American chain Taco Bell, Chipotle has seen an expansion of over 3,000 restaurants in its 30 years in business. This includes locations north of the border, up in Canada, across the pond, over in the UK, and even the land of the croissant, France. While that is very impressive, the upscale Mexican fast food chain is looking to further extend its reach by adding an additional 250 to 285 locations across the country this year alone. Money, 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 money. That's enough Mexican food to keep you in burritos until Cinco de Mayo. Yes, it seems that 2023 may be the year of the burrito. The giant overstuffed burrito, but a burrito nonetheless. Wingstop. That's right, chicken wings. If there was a prize for greatest party food ever, that prize would undoubtedly go to the little fried wonder known as the chicken wing. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Whether it's copious amounts being enjoyed during the Super Bowl or partnered alongside a large pizza, chicken wings have been staining the fingers and faces and shirts of party goers for years. So it stands to reason that a fast food chain would emerge specializing in serving up these delicious wings. Enter Wingstop. Wingstop. Relatively new on the fast food franchise block, Wingstop first opened its doors back in 1994, but it has been steadily growing its fan base and number of locations ever since. With a menu that's almost exclusively chicken wing focused, with the ability to personalize your wings with various flavor combinations, Wingstop has a proven recipe for success. No stranger to expansion, Wingstop has its most locations in Texas and has even gone international with outlets in Canada, Mexico, Mexico, France, and the UK, among others. So when it comes to further spreading their wings, it comes as no surprise that the chicken wing chain is planning a rather large expansion this year. Wingstop will see the opening of even more locations across the US and combined with the over 1,500 locations that the franchise currently has under its belt. It looks like 2023 could be the year of the chicken wing. Raising Canes. Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? What pops in your mind when thinking of some of your favorite go-to comfort foods? Maybe a PB&J sandwich or perhaps a nice hot bowl of mac and cheese? Whatever the case may be, these tasty comfort goodies all have one thing in common. They're all relatively simple to make and sometimes simple is a recipe for success. After all, who said you need an extravagant, posh, over-the-top menu to succeed? That certainly isn't the case for Louisiana's Raising Cane's. A restaurant that specializes in crispy chicken fingers and not too much else. This fact hasn't stopped the chain from experiencing tremendous growth over the years, with more locations ready to start emerging this year, with 100 new locations opening last year alone. Bravo. 
Bravo! <laughs> now even more chicken lovers will be able to enjoy those flavorful chicken fingers with a few slices of Texas toast dipped in that good old cane sauce. Of course, this is just the beginning of the major expansion expected this year, as the franchise is planning to open more locations in Wisconsin, Miami Beach, New York City, and San Diego. The major expansion and popularity of Raising Cane's proves that a small menu is all you need when done right. Checkers and rallies. That's it. And then? No, and then. I, I, that's, that's all I want. What is it about the South and delicious fast food franchises? Uh, you tell me. We all know a certain fried chicken franchise that calls the South home, but the Colonel's Secret Recipe Chicken is hardly the only chain to call this part of the U.S. its birthplace. One of the country's fastest rising burger chains also has its origins in the South. First debuting in Alabama as Checkers back in the late 1980s, the franchise would merge with another burger chain from the North. The chain is the same, but depending on where you are, it will be known as either Checkers or Rallies, and serve up some of the tastiest burgers on both sides of the Mason-Dixon. Checkers slash Rallies immediately set themselves apart from the other burger chains by offering both hot dogs and hot wings in addition to burgers, and the chain wasted little time in expanding its reach. Eventually being purchased by CKE Restaurants in 1996, Checkers slash Rallies continued its expansion, seeing two dozen locations open in Pittsburgh in 2018. This trend is set to continue, as experts have estimated that the burger chain will see further expansion of more than 70 locations across the country. If you fancy yourself a burger lover and have become tired of the established burger giants out there, then 2023 promises to be an exciting one. Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers What's not to like? Custard? Good! Starting its run back in 2002 and named in honor of a World War II veteran, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers sprang up in Kansas, offering patrons thinly sliced steak burgers, shoestring fries, and Vienna beef hot dogs. If that wasn't appetizing enough, the chain also serves up a richer and thicker alternative to ice cream, Frozen Custard. Game changer. This is a chilly sweet treat that the other burger chains simply don't offer. The combination of unique menu items has made it possible for the burger chain to expand beyond the borders of the Midwest and stretch across the U.S. In fact, in 2020, the chain managed to launch its 400th location, with 12 more locations launching in other states across the country last year alone. The year 2023 promises further expansion for the chain, with a planned 100 more locations, bringing the franchise his numbers up to an impressive 500. Not too shabby for a little specialty burger chain from Kansas. Popeyes. Man, how you not gonna have no Popeyes chicken, no potato salad, no Hennessy? When thinking of chicken franchises, you'll likely think of two names right off the bat, KFC and Popeyes. Yes, Popeyes has been steadily gaining on the once mighty Colonel as chicken lovers have slowly grown tired of KFC's secret recipe and moved over to the other chicken chains for something new and exciting. I'm losing my finger licking mine right now, eating all this chicken. With a menu that rivals KFC's, Popeyes has been growing at an accelerated rate for some time. The chicken franchise has been opening locations all over North America, with 2023 planning to see an extraordinary 200 new locations set to open their doors to many a hungry chicken enthusiast. If that wasn't enough, Popeyes also plans to send their Louisiana fried chicken over to the shores of of China, further expanding their crispy southern reach across the globe. At the rate Popeyes is currently expanding, you won't be able to take a stroll down the street without a Popeyes chicken franchise catching your eye. And once seen, how can you just pass on by without stopping in? Now that would be a truly impossible task. Indeed. Indeed. We're serving up more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.